I'm Tom Moliterno. I'm the Professor of Behavioral Strategy at the School of Business and Economics. I recently joined the faculty after 10 years uh, as a member of the faculty at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and prior to that, six years on the faculty at the University of South Carolina in the United States. My area of specialty is strategy, and in particular, behavioral strategy. So thinking about uh, organization level outcomes, and particularly the effects that individuals in the organization have on achieving those outcomes. I think the, the thing that really characterizes my research is looking inside the organizations and understanding how the behaviors, actions, decisions of the people inside the organization affect organization level outcomes. Um, and so in many ways, I think I take a very practical and very real understanding to how things get done in organizations. And I hope that by sort of really trying to uncover what's really going on sort of behind the, behind the scenes will help us understand organizations better, help us understand better how they make an impact, uh, both in our economy and our society, and hopefully lead to the creation of better places to work. Some of the work that I've spent a lot of time doing, and some of the work that I'm sort of best known for, is my work on organizational human capital, right? Which is really thinking about the people in the organization and how collectively they work to produce the, the outcomes that matter to, whether it's the shareholders, whether it's society, or the people who are interested, the stakeholders of the organization. So really thinking about the people as the inputs to what organizations produce. Organizations are really collections of people, and it's those people who are driving the outcomes that we're interested in in our economy and our society. And so I think by, by realizing that there is um, there are humans inside these organizations, I think helps us have a better understanding and hopefully a better appreciation of, uh, of what these organizations do and how they do it. Part of my work in the human capital space is thinking about human capital not only as something that lives in the individual, but that lives in a collection of people. So when we think about organizations as a group of people or a team as a group of people, each person who participates in that organization or that team brings their own knowledge, skill, abilities, et cetera. But collectively, that team, that organization is more than just the sum of those individual contributions, right? It's really this, uh, the, the, what occurs when these people come together and produce together. And for me, that really, I, I always keep that in mind when I think about whether it's a research collaboration or the department here at the school, or even the being part of this broader university, right? That I contribute both my own abilities and knowledge, but also by contributing that, I'm helping create something that's bigger than just the collection of the people who are on that team or that collaboration or in that university. I think one of the great things um, and one of the things that I found so exciting and, and energizing about being a part of uh, the School of Business and Economics and the Management and Organization Department in particular is that I think that there's a real um, interest and support uh, for faculty doing the work that they find really gratifying and really, um, really important. My experience is that there's a lot of um, uh, autonomy and a lot of support for faculty to pursue their own agendas, right? Um, with, the, with the general sense that if it's good for you and your career and you're doing important things, then it's good for the institution, right? In some ways that aligns very closely with how I think about human capital, right? Um, it's that we're all making individual contributions, but those individual contributions together um, become more powerful and more um, uh, impactful uh, if we're all sort of pulling in the same direction.